Yeah, Palm Beach County's Health Department Director, Dr. Alina Alonzo, says a lot of progress has been made, but one of the main concerns that continues is the variance in our county. Now, Dr. Alonzo says there are more than 1,000 variant cases in Florida, with 83 of them right here in Palm Beach County. She says, while that may not seem like a high number, the variants are more transmissible, so people shouldn't let their guard down. I encourage all our businesses, all our population to realize we are not out of the woods yet. The, the feeling now is one of you get your two vaccines and you feel like Superman. I do feel like going down to, to Atlantic Avenue and Clematis, but you have to hold yourself back. And you have to realize that you only have 95% coverage and that you can still get the virus. Now, in addition, Dr. Alonzo is stressing that people understand that all county-run sites have to follow the governor's order. Only certain sites and places like CVS and Publix are following federal guidelines, which allow all educators to get the vaccine. There was also some talk about what avenues can be taken to get permission to vaccinate people 40 and above, like Orlando is doing, instead of 50 and above. But Alonzo says she does not have the authority to make any changes and has to continue following the executive order. Commissioners were invited, however, to further discuss these concerns and to bring it to the board. Now, uh, we're told that there will be further discussion to uh, add these vaccination sites to underserved areas in the coming weeks. Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News.